aircraft, airport, landmarks and more. A lot of things have been going on at the end of third party devs and it's about time to take a peek at the latest. We have Trend Palmer Edition Plus and a lot more. But before anything at all, I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great journey so far with Microsoft Flight Simulator with creative add-ons that welcomes more excitement to a whole different level. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to keep yourselves up to date on the latest. Parallel 42 has surprised the audience with a Trend Palmer edition of the Freedom Fox. Quite a studio with sky park in place that allows users to engage in missions within the sim, this is their most recent setup. With the help of the man himself, this is right now undergoing a lot of testing efforts before calling it a release. The gang is aiming to accomplish quite a finished product with accurate modeling and textures. By the look of it, we have a clear picture of what to expect which is to be released soon. The last few days before the studios of Just Flight have decided to go with the extension of the Piper series, the Warrior 2. A popular aircraft amongst the community, the Piper Arrow series have gained quite a bit of attention plus loads of freeware that could further up the experience. Just Flight have been excited to bring this incredibly detailed rendition of the Warrior 2 with complete realistic wear and tear and cockpit configurations. This is a very popular aircraft that's flown all over the world reflects that global popularity that features liveries from US, Canada, UK, France, Australia and Germany. A four-seater piston engine aircraft equipped with a fixed tricycle landing gear that boasts of a 160 horsepower four-cylinder engine and a fixed pitch propeller which makes it an ideal aircraft for touring and flight training. This is right now in the final stages of testing that will be released soon. Following the Warrior 2, here comes the AR-1 Ryan SDA Special, a charming two-seated low-wing aircraft that is beautifully modeled and a joy to experience. Powered by a 150 horsepower Manasco C4S engine, the wings are constructed in a four fabric covered sections with two stub wings and out panels. Now if you like the Wacker, you'll certainly like this one as well, with the classic feel of the 30s, the texture work, flight characteristics which have been well worked by the team, you would definitely need getting used to the takeoffs and landings which is quite unique. So for almost $20, you can purchase this at Just Flight's website. While we've been talking new planes, the current form of DC-6 can't be more spectacular. The latest update has rolled in as of yesterday, giving it a rather more improvement on top of the current version. PMDG's debut for the simulator has been an exciting one with a truly remarkable feel of the real aircraft that has been well supported with a new flight simulation engine. This has been built right from the ground up giving it more exposure of further projects in the future at PMDG. Coming towards Aeroplane Heaven, the release of the Cessna 140 has scored the spotlight this week. Released just this morning, the Cessna 140 has been an aircraft with history for sure. It first flew in 1945 that gave so much more to the engineers who've learned a great deal of growth since then. A detailed 3D model with PBM materials that have been well used throughout with textures that sold for almost $29. This comes with a pack of features that include detailed animations of the tailwheel, sprung main UC legs, brake discs and calipers. With an authentic stereo sound pack and 7 polished liveries, this makes it one of the highlights of the features. Airports and sceneries have been plenty this week, beginning with Orbex's Dubai landmarks. This has captured some attention with the amount of detail the studios have been spent towards delivering. A good move towards the Asian continent, I'd imagine. 22 highly detailed custom landmarks from the Royal Atlantis to the Ferris wheel. There are 185 other detailed landmarks that equalizes both balance as well as performance. Night lighting is plenty along with custom auto imagery which Orbex have been a leader in. Many improvements towards the city as well as surrounding areas that include buildings, vegetation, static trains, boats, this can add a good feel of the environment moving towards reality. The team have extensively used terraforming hence enhancing all the areas of interest giving it a great appeal. This is sold for only $10, a great deal from the studios of Orbex that has always been the leader in developments. With NZA simulations now focusing at Microsoft Flight Simulator comes both the Nelson Airport and the Motueka Airport. 
It appears that the studios are more engaged in improving scenery in the region of New Zealand. At least for now, the Nelson Airport looks rather exciting with over 9,000 hand-placed objects, 250 custom assets, 50 unique buildings that makes it a must-fly list. The team have been very excited since the release of the sim, making plans for beautiful projects to come along. The airport boasts of a fully 3D model interior of the terminal buildings, ADC control tower including stores, pretty much all the internal areas of the airport that show the passion towards designing. Plenty of static objects can be found in the scenery along with custom animation. Texturing has been spread throughout the airport, both internally as well as external areas. Ground markings, aerial imagery and several surrounding landmarks have been a good part of this pack. Runways and apron areas have custom PPS so as to keep it more realistic as possible. A great set of features that's been sold for $23. Another interesting theme happening from the studios of FSDG, an impressive list of islands to see that has been covered so far at the sim, the latest addition has been towards the islands of Seychelles. A group of islands that reside at the Indian Ocean, quite a paradise with sandy beaches, luxury resorts and a challenging set of airstrips which makes it worth a visit. The pack features a complete coverage of all the islands of Seychelles, custom aerial imagery that's been worked on all of the islands with realistic reefs around them, an accurately detailed rendition of the Seychelles International Airport as well as the Praslin Regional Airport. Additionally, this pack comes with 14 detailed airstrips. Performance and quality have been balanced well, giving it a good experience overall at the simulator. This is quite a pack with a good amount of features, airstrips, airports, as well as a group of islands that sold for $35 that comes with an informative manual. We certainly hope you liked this video. This is just a beginning of a beautiful world of flight selling, especially at Microsoft Flight Simulator. So stay tuned by subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Until next time, take care and happy flying folks.